was like one of the many people who ran out there and bought his rookie jersey, thinking, thinking this dude was going to be our saviour, but he wasn't. So, Greg, today I'd like to uh, officially make closure and burn my Russell jersey. Well, you know, it's, it's an emotional moment, the Raider Nation everywhere, because, you know, number two means number two. Oh! oh. Ever since I was a child... These are mine. Oh! Skittles! Oh, just Skittles. Look at the jersey. There it is. Russell, number two. And you know, that's an authentic jersey. Sorry, that's mate. no bullshit right there, I'm telling you. I only wait for closure. Um, basically, what I wanted to say to you, Russell, is uh, if you stop buying fucking chains and high Technicolor fucking jerseys and buy a treadmill and a fucking alarm clock and get your life sorted, you wouldn't be seeing this shit, the fucking fans getting angry about this. So, it's time to do it. <laughs> Well, here you go, Raider Nation. <laughs> that's uh, that's tragic. Uh oh, that's that's good. Don't don't get too close to it. Oh man. Can you open the car door? Woo! Woo! Russell, if you sorted your shit out, we wouldn't have issues like this. There you go. So it's grape juice time. I hate you, Jamarcus Russell. Get your life sorted. You, you flew all the way over here from Australia for that. You know, fuck him. He's gone. It's over. I understand your pain. Uh, we all understand your pain. We got to move on from this motherfucker. And, uh, well, I think you've moved on from this guy. I've moved on. I'm, I'm ready for the quarterback controversy. That is Gradkowski and Jason Campbell. Um... Grad Kowski gives us that energy and spark. I just hope the guy can stay stay uninjured. We need we need a better offensive line. Al Davis, he built an awesome offensive line back in the day with Jim Otto, Gene Upshaw, and Art motherfucking Shell. But now we just got scrubs. I hope Jared Valdez sorts some stuff out. We grow and we won't have this issues as a quarterback if they don't get injured by an offensive line protecting. Would you not say? Well, I would say the same thing, but today... As what happened last week, today we have kind of a hope that things are going to get better, man. What are you thinking about today? Who who shows up today? Uh, Richard Seymour. Um, you know, we paid that guy to come here and save our franchise, and I've seen good stuff. Um, I want to see Nandy close shit down. I just want the defense to step up. I want to see the defense step up, but our offense has to score some points. I think if we play half as good as we did last week... It's going to be off the fucking hook, man. Hey, thanks for traveling so fucking far. Listen, man, listen to you motherfuckers out there. This guy comes all the way from Australia to come and get an ass in the seat to see his fucking team. That's commitment. Yeah. We want to say that's a great fucking fan. No, no doubt. I got to tell you. All right. And just one final shout out. Crusader, Raider, I'm going to see you next week. It's going to be Australia versus England. You bring home the motherfucking ashes. Oh! The gauntlet <laughs> has been thrown down. See, that's yeah. That's life <laughs> Look at the guns on this guy, man. Check him out right here. All right, Popo's rolling through. We better get this stuff sorted. Love you, 5-0. <laughs>